Hi there, this week I've got a special treat for you. This month we're covering the topic of fitting knits, so I thought you might enjoy a glimpse inside my online course, The Custom Stretch Knit Bodice Block. This course teaches you how to draft a custom sized t-shirt to your personal body measurements using the stretch ratio of your chosen fabric. Now it's loaded with valuable information about knits and custom knit pattern making, but I can't resist sharing a piece of that information I know that you all can use. The stretch ratio of a knit is extremely important when it comes to getting a successful fit. In order to eliminate the darts on a knit garment, you really must use the negative ease and the stretch ratio of the fabric to force the fabric around your body contours. Now, if you're not using the fabric's ability to stretch, you will be left with drag lines and folds that you really must become comfortable with or try to manage in some other way. Now, over the next few weeks, we're gonna cover these topics in much greater detail. But for today, let's focus on how to determine the stretch ratio of a knit fabric. If you're not sure what stretch ratio is, I've got the answer for you now. Stretch ratio is the maximum percentage that a fabric will stretch across its width or along its length. The stretch ratio of your fabric is important because it tells us how much ease will be needed in the pattern to get a great fit. Since knit fabrics stretch, this means that the pattern and the resulting garment will often be smaller than your body measurements. In partnership with stretch ratio is something called stretch recovery. Stretch recovery is the fabric's ability to return to its original size and shape after being stretched. This is important because it allows the garment to keep its shape as it's being worn. If you've ever had a pair of pants or leggings that got baggy knees after just a few hours of wear, you'll know exactly what I mean. You're going to see here that knit fabrics come in a really wide variety of stretch ratios. Now I've developed the custom stretch knit bodice draft to accommodate almost any knit fabric. For the bodice, the direction of greatest stretch must go around the body so that you can breathe and move around comfortably even though the garment will be made smaller than your body measurements. Since most knit fabrics have the greatest ability to stretch on the crosswise grain, we'll be determining the stretch ratio of the fabric width first. Once we've done that, we can also determine the stretch ratio of the lengthwise grain using the same method. Here are the steps to determine the stretch ratio of your fabric. The first thing you'll do is take a single layer of your fabric and fold it about two inches below the cut edge of your fabric. So you're going to be folding it along the crosswise grain, which if you remember, is perpendicular to your salvage edge. Along the fold there, you're gonna place one pin that is about three inches away from the salvage edge. We're doing it three inches away just so that we can get away from this secured edge of the fabric. The second pin you'll place four inches away from the first pin. It's a good idea to make these pins quite perpendicular to the fold line, so you can adjust those if you need to. Then quickly double check to make sure that that distance when the fabric is relaxed is actually four inches. The next thing you're gonna do is grasp the pins, one in each hand. You're gonna place the first pin on the zero point of the ruler, and then you're going to check what measurement your fabric is going to comfortably stretch to. Now, if the folded edge of the fabric starts to flip up or your fabric starts to look sheer, you've probably stretched it too far. Now I can see here my fabric is comfortably stretching to about seven inches. Now a good guide to follow when you're stretching your fabric is to think about how snugly you want the knit to hug your curves. So the stronger you pull, the tighter your garment will feel. So keep that in mind when you're doing this stretch ratio part. Now once you've got your stretch to measurement, you can refer to the chart in the determining stretch ratio document. So here we now have our determining stretch ratio chart right here in front of us. So now what you're going to do is go into the four inches or 10 centimeters stretches two and go along this row. And what you're gonna do is see where you can find your stretch two number. Now, of course, my stretch two number was seven inches. Now with this in mind, this gives me some information about my fabric. It tells me that I have a super stretch knit fabric 
that has a stretch ratio of 75%. It'll also tell me that I will make a length reduction of 0% and a width reduction of 10%. Now, these length and width reductions just tell me how much smaller my block is going to be compared to my body measurements. So we'll be working with these two numbers for our draft. I just wanted to go over the concept of stretch recovery. So you can see here I still have my fabric set up for determining the stretch ratio of the crosswise grain. I have the first pin set at about three inches away from the selvage edge and of course the second pin is four inches away from the first. Now I'm going to gently stretch the fabric keeping the first pin at the zero point of the ruler and I'm going to stretch my fabric gently until I reach my stretch to number. And once I've done that, I can let go of my fabric and see how quickly it returns back to that original four inches. Now you can see here when I do that, I stretch to seven and let my fabric go, it very quickly returns back to the original four inches. This tells me I have very, very good stretch recovery. Now let's determine the stretch ratio of the lengthwise grain of our fabric. As I said before, we need to be sure that we will be working with the greatest direction of stretch going around the body. And although this is most often the crosswise grain, which we determined earlier, in some specially knit fabrics, it may be the lengthwise grain. So you're going to go through the exact same steps to check the lengthwise grain of your fabric for its stretch ratio. So once again, I've turned my fabric around here just so you know, my selvage edge is here now and my cut edge is here. So once again, you're gonna take a single layer of your fabric and fold it down about two inches below the selvage edge this time. With the fabric relaxed, you're going to place one pin that is three inches away from the cut edge and then four inches away from the first pin. So once again, we're just setting up this four inch gauge that we've got going. Now, once we have that in place, we can grasp the pins, one in each hand. The first pin goes at the zero point of the ruler and you're just going to stretch your fabric comfortably until it reaches a certain stretch to number. Now, my lengthwise stretch ratio looks like it's going to be exactly the same as my crosswise stretch ratio. Okay, so it's stretching very comfortably to seven inches. So once again, you can go back to your determining stretch ratio chart to make sure that you are going to be using the greatest direction of stretch going around the body. So let's look at that next. So here we have our stretch ratio chart once again. In the four inches or 10 centimeters stretches to row, you're going to find your stretch to number. Now, if your number is less than the crosswise stretch that you determined earlier, or if it is equal to the crosswise stretch that you determined earlier, you will use the stretch ratio information for the crosswise grain of your fabric for creating your draft. If the lengthwise stretch is greater than the crosswise stretch you determined earlier, you will use the stretch ratio of the lengthwise grain for creating your draft. For my fabric, the lengthwise grain stretch to number is exactly the same as the stretch to number for the crosswise grain. So I am going to use the crosswise grain stretch ratio information to create my draft. While I may have talked about using stretch ratio to draft patterns, determining the stretch ratio of your fabric before you sew is also really important. Most commercial knit sewing patterns are designed for a specific fabric stretch ratio. So your success in creating that garment is highly dependent on your choosing the right fabric for the project. Now I hope that this demonstration has helped you understand how to do that. If you're interested in seeing if the custom stretch knit bodice block course is right for you, you'll find a link below. Now next week, we're going to dive a bit deeper into fitting knits. I hope you'll tune in. I'll chat with you soon. Bye for now.